Would you say that this money printing mentality that we see pretty much throughout the world, is that because that's the soft political option? It enables politicians not to make the hard decision, that the right decision that really needs to be done? Oh, sure. That, is, that appears at least to be the easy way out. And of course, the, it is also backed, or backed by false theories. You know, nowadays, mainstream economists would say, well, if the, the, the Federal Reserve or the European Central Bank increases the money stock, it's neutral. It doesn't harm. You know, it's, it's, it, it doesn't really affect the economy and the financial wealth in, 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 a, in a bad way. But of course, this is a false theory. Of course, any increase in the money supply in the economy uh, lead necessarily so to a redistribution of income. You know, this, the, this is the economic truth. And again, that is rooted basically in Mises' uh, reconstruction of, of economics. Yeah, there's another element to that, you know, being trained as a, bank, a banker. I, you know, I recognize that if um, you know, there are bad debts out there, uh, moving those bad debts uh, from a bank into the central bank doesn't make those bad debts disappear. Uh, all it did is it maybe made them liquid, but it didn't, didn't improve the, the quality of those bad debts. Uh, if, a, if a debtor has too much debt that he can never possibly repay, um, that has to be recognized. Uh, you can't hide that. And uh, you know, I, I see you know, now the ECB has 170 billion euros of sovereign debt uh, on its balance sheet acquired from various Mediterranean countries. Um, is, isn't that making the ECB insolvent? Uh, of course, the, the damage has been done, so to speak, and the only question is who's going to pay for it? Is it the money holder? Is it the saver? Is it the, the, the stockholder of banks? You know, is it government, government empl employees, government beneficiaries? So we are right in the midst of a struggle. Who's going to pay for it? And the easy way at the moment is obviously to, to, dump, to the dump all these uh, assets no one wants to hold with the central bank. And, um, and of course, uh, the, the ECB has made these purchases. And I would say uh, that it will increase the purchases because the underlying logic and the underlying uh, automatism that comes with, with this decision will lead to ever greater purchases of money. Uh, of bonds and thereby increasing the money stock further. Uh, and you know, uh, there are differences in opinion. The Germans, the Austrians uh, are very much against it. And, uh, but obviously the majority in the, in, the, in the European Central Bank Council has made this decision. It is a deliberate act, so to speak. And uh, that doesn't bode well, of course, for, for the future of the Euro. In particular, as such a policy action should have been excluded right from the start through the statute of the European Central Bank. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a break of rules, so to yeah, speak. Yeah, they broke the rules, exactly. Uh, well, it'll be interesting to see how that all unfolds in the weeks and, and months ahead. Uh, this video is going to be viewed by thousands of people you know, on the Gold Money Foundation website. Do you have any parting comments uh, about uh, Austrian economics or the year or anything else that you would like to leave? Uh, as the last comments? Well, yeah, I would like to take this opportunity um, to say, you know, people should start reading what the Austrians have to say. And as you said earlier, a good starting point is the Mises Institute in Auburn, Alabama. They have fantastic daily articles, a great library. You can download books uh, in PDF for free and you can engage in um, in get, you can get into contact with other people from all around the world. It's a fantastic, uh, it's a fantastic platform. They do, uh, of course, uh, seminars. Uh, there's an, an Austrian school of uh, uh, Austrian school of uh, economists conference every year, and so maybe people would like to attend. And I would highly recommend going into it and learning more about it and, and spreading the news. Yeah, I agree with you, Thurston. Uh, education is, is really the most important thing. And given all of the uncertainties we have worldwide, I think people really have to um, pick up some of those pamphlets from Mises.org and, and other things, attend conferences uh, to learn a little bit uh, about it, get a different point of view, and maybe make some decisions that will be helpful to them uh, to get through these that uncertain times. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been speaking with Thurston Paulite. Thank you very much, Thurston. Thank it's been a real pleasure. Thank you.